Bigelow Preserve. And we pack for this trip. It's slightly nerve wracking up here. This cliff over here is really morning it is about 8 30 uh, on a Thursday we are in the Bigelow Preserve uh, in the High Peaks region just next to Sugarloaf which is probably more familiar to a lot of people um, and we are at the Fire Wardens Trailhead it's only gonna be about 13 14 miles round trip it's not gonna be bad um, just gonna be a an overnighter um, should be a lot of fun. Two 4,000 foot peaks um, on my list to cross off for the main 4,000 foot peak list. Um, should get some really good views. Flagstaff Lake is just in the north. Uh, it's supposed to be a, a really pretty view from there. So with that said, we're going to lock up and we're getting ready to go. So here we are. Oh, much easier way to do it. Same map that I have. We're here. We're going up, 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 up. We're going to camp either here or here I mean this up here to Avery and back oh, it says right here 2.3 to the junction so 4.6 to get us here and at this coal there's the Avery Memorial campsite so 4.6 to there to make it almost 5.6 to go to Avery and then back and then it's 3.1 to get over to here. So that would make it like about a nine mile day. We'll see, we'll play it by ear. Oh, I didn't mention either. Got a new pack for this trip. This is the uh, ULA Catalyst. This is the really big one. It's like 78 liters, 73 liters, 78. I don't know, it's big. I got it uh, originally. It's gonna come out with some buddies. Um, things came up, they weren't able to make it. So I got this pack to so a buddy of mine that doesn't have gear. Um, so he'd be able to come out. I said something came up, he wasn't able to make it. Bunny Fu was going to come out on this trip, but he uh, actually got into a car accident a couple weeks ago. He's okay, just a little banged up. Uh, not in any condition to climb some 4,000 footers, but he's alright. Um, but anyways, the, the new pack, I got this. The collar on this thing right here extends, whoops, the collar on this thing extends way up. Um, it, there's just tons of room in here. I didn't even compress any of my gear, I just kind of tossed it in. Um, but it'll also be real nice when I bring the girls out, so I'll be able to carry, offload some of their stuff into my pack, which would be good for them. And whatever's good for them is good for me, right? So. That's the new pack. Oh, well, looks like I made it to the actual trailhead. And by the looks of it, I don't know if I could drive down, but I've got a very official looking vehicle here from the Appalachian Trail Conservancy. I gotta tell you, after the last three trips have been on true to the name backcountry trails, <laughs> it is going to be a treat to walk on some of these. I know, of course, the Appalachian Trail, that's gonna be uh, a great path. Um, and these, the Fire Wardens and the Horns Pond Trail that we're using to get to the AT, which runs along the ridge here. Uh, these should be 
really well cared for as well. Up in the Sugarloaf area or the Greater High Peaks area, very, very popular place. You can see a lot of people. Who knows, we might even have to fight for a campsite tonight. That's all right. We've got the hammock. No bother. Should we find some water? We'll be good to go. But a coal is the lowest point or the low area between two peaks in a range. So West Peak and Avery Peak are only like, I don't even think they're a mile apart in the little dip between them it doesn't dip down in elevation hugely but that area between those two peaks is called a coal col I apologize if all you can hear is me panting like an old man. I don't think there's a filter for out of shape guy, but perfect day. Nice little breeze, keep the bugs away. Loving it. much quicker than I thought. We're at the junction for Horns Pond and the Fire Warden Trails. So this is where we'll be coming from either tomorrow or very, very late tonight. Again, haven't decided how that's gonna work out. So 1.7 miles in uh, about an hour. That's not too bad faster than I was expecting. So we've got 2.3 miles till we get to Bigelow Coal. Which will be nice. I really, there's a, like I said, the Avery Memorial Campsite. I forget the man's name. We'll call him Mr. Avery. I'll see if I can put it up here or something when I, when I edit it. Um, but he was a big proponent this Bigelow Range, it's actually a preserve now. There was a proposal to make it a ski area. And some folks got together and petitioned or put up the money. I'll link a story somewhere here. But it was going to be a ski resort. Um, but it's now protected land. Which is nice. So, we are going to go ahead and register. And then we're going to hit the Fire Wardens Trail. And we're going to get some big hills. Yeah, buddy. We are registered. We are ready to go. Got about a mile until we get to the Moose Falls campsite. I don't know what that is exactly. I hope there's, I mean, some waterfalls maybe? Maybe there's some moose commit suicide? Uh, I don't know. Anyways, it's about 10 to 10. So I'm hoping it's only a mile away. We'll get there pretty quick. Quarter past the latest, I would hope. So let's get at it. So I tried to record some on the way up. We're right now at the Moose Falls campsite. Um, I tried to record on the way up, but the battery died. And I knew I was getting close, so I didn't pop a new one in until I got here. Um, 
but it's, it seems nice so far. I took a quick little walk around and kind of see the area we're in. There is indeed a privy, which is nice. Beats digging cat holes. So I'm gonna stay here for a minute, get a snack, get some water. It's supposed to be a water source just over the way. Um, but I did walk around some. So before I sit down and grab some to eat, We'll all take a walk around together. Definitely geared towards tenting, uh, but plenty of trees to string up hammocks. For sure. They say no fires here, but I think at every little tent pad here, you can see a bunch of ashes. No fire rings though. It's been a real nice walk up so far. It's been challenging, there's been good elevation gain. I'll check the GPS in a minute and see what it says for elevation. It's kind of hard to see through here, but there's, through the trees, a sugar loaf. I don't know if you can see any of that. It would be a phenomenal view with some significantly shorter trees there. So there's campsite number two here. And if we step right through here, we've got another, another pad. Well, had some water, had a snack. And this sign here says I can get water down this way, which I talked to, you might have seen him in the last bit here. There's a man coming down the hill with his boy. Uh, he said the same brook that crosses down here also crosses the actual trail going up this way. So I think I'm gonna go up the trail, see if I can find it there to get some water. Um, the Avery Memorial campsite, excuse me, which is at Bigelow Cole, one mile up. <laughs> he said the, uh, the last seven tenths of that mile are pretty rugged. So they're pretty, pretty straight up, just kind of spiraling stairs. So that'll be fun. But we're going to head up this way here and see if we can't find that, that brook. Oh, a little dead fishy. One more reason to pass this one by. I will tag it on the tracks as a water source. I'm not going to tag dead fish though. I mean that might be gone by the time you get here, so I wouldn't want to disappoint. Alright, that is all tagged. Rock on. I will uh we're gonna march up the trail and we're gonna to get to that steep part. So I got a big smile on my face now. I'm not gonna have a smile on my face when we get to the steep part. Let's go do it. I'm not sure we're to the super steep part, but it's been steep enough that on the uh, tiptoes more than, well, just as much as we've been flat foot. It's been a, it's hard to see. We're starting to poke up through the trees. Uh, just behind us over here is Sugarloaf. And I kind of assumed that everyone would know what Sugarloaf is. It's a, it's a mountain, of course, but it's a big ski resort, a uh, very popular ski resort in the Northeast. Um, and that's just behind us here. Um, but I'm gonna turn you horizontally again so you can see kind of what we're doing. I'll leave the camera on for a minute, but I'm breathing pretty heavy. I still got a smile, see? All right, let's do this.
found the staircases. Still got a smile. See? I'm smiling. All right. Let's get up there. We'll nail some 4,000 foot peaks, huh? Two of them. And one day. Aren't we lucky? Let's see. It's about 11.30. I fully anticipate it's gonna take me seven hours to make this last half mile. I'm just kidding. But a big shout out to my daughter. Picked me out a wonderful hiking watch so I always know what time it is and don't have to dig my phone out. But now, we're going to finish the mountain. We'll get to the cold. Do it now. Let's try that again. Do it now. That was pretty bad too, wasn't it? <laughs> this is a smile, I promise. Or I was weary of. This is straight in front of me, my hand. It's we climbing, folks. But I feel, I really feel that my last three days binge watching Sons of Anarchy to finish it, sitting in my lazy boy, I really think that helped me prepare for this. Totally. <laughs> Gotta use the hands now. Alright. I'm gonna see you guys right up there, okay? Meet me there. I'm gonna go up there, but I gotta use my hands. So we got a ways to go. It's, let me see that, 11.51 now. I was kind of hoping to get there by noon, an hour to do this last mile, but it's a tough mile. So I'm gonna keep going, but this is the view to the south-ish. Where do you see the view from the north? I'm willing to bet it's gonna be amazing. Be overlooking Flagstaff, Flagstaff Lake. This can be pretty. But we'll be above tree line once we get up there to uh, Avery Peak and West Peak. Uh, so we'll be able to get a good view south as well. There's a reason they call it the High Peaks. Over by Sugarloaf, there's a few more mountains on the 4K list. I'm not gonna try and name them all off. There's quite a few tucked right in that, right in that general area. You can make a couple day trip and bag four or five of them, which I plan on doing at some point. Holy smokes, look at that flat part. <laughs> I know it's not gonna last, but I get to take like four steps that aren't up. <laughs> the smile's back. I'm just playing. As steep as it's been, it's been really nice. And I'm starting to see some blue sky beyond the trees, so. I said the Avery campsite is in Bigelow Coal. So, I don't know if we'll have a view from the Avery campsite or not. I kind of hope so. Oh, what is this? 
this. The toilet. Oh, it looks like there's a map over there. And I hear some voices coming down the trail. Alright. Looks more like a tent site than a toilet, but. Alright. Hey, we are at Big Little Coal. Alright. It's a water source. 0.2 miles. We're on the Fire Warden's Trail. Holy smokes, this is a... Oh, there's a tent right over there too. This is a big area. So, we must be like right here. If we keep going up, we'll find water. Let's do it. There was some real legit Hand over. Real legit climbing. I don't know if I'm on the trail or not, but that's got to be Avery Peak, maybe. It's just amazing. All right, I'm gonna keep going so you can find some water. After a bit of searching, it's actually the Avery campsite. It's not a campsite. It's I don't know, there's got to be 10. You saw it on the poster back there, but there's got to be like 10 tent pads up here. Not a place for hammocks. It's uh, a little too alpine. Got to have tents or bivvies or something. But I walked around confused for a little while trying to find water. Finally went back, checked the map again. And here's our water source. Not the best, but it'll keep us alive. So we're going to filter some water. I really don't know how much I can take out of here, but I'm going to filter some water and go hit some peaks. All right. Horns Pond, three miles from here. We're going point four that way, point four back. We got 3.8 miles. It's weird to think. Just last weekend, um, Scott Jurek, ultra marathoner, powered by plutonium, he uh, ran the Appalachian Trail in what 46 days, eight hours and seven minutes. So just last weekend, dude was running through here. He was like 40, 50, 60 miles a day for 46 days straight. It's amazing. But we're gonna go for the peak and I'm gonna have to change my battery. So I got a new battery in. When I said this place was like a little city, I mean, I'm back up on the AT. There's more tent pads over there. You see down here, I don't know if you can see that sign. There's a reforestation area in there. I mean, this is, this is really something. If you were saw any of my last videos up in Namakanta, there's nothing up there. There's trees and ponds. Uh, but this is, that was really something. That's really cool. So now we are white blazing it. See if we can't, I still can't get over like how big and how cool this place was. Must be a caretaker's hut. Yep. Well, all right then. This has been an exceptional trip. And we even got to the real good stuff. Half mile. It'll be yeah, buddy. It's 142 now. So 
I think I'm definitely staying up here tonight. Which is okay. I wanted to kind of come through and relax. I didn't want it to be a rush trip. But if we've got four miles, shouldn't be any problem to get to Horns Pond. Been averaging one mile an hour, even up that ridiculous ascent we just came up. And speaking of ridiculous ascents, here we go. This is also going to be our first, our first look to the north. So, Mr. Scott Jurek, I'm sure you'll never see this, but if you do, bravo, man. Holy smokes. Be able to hide the view from you for too much longer. There's a view in every direction. All right, there's Sugarloaf, there's West Peak just over yonder. my hat on. You look extra pretty. It's nice and quiet. We've got this blocking the wind from the north. All right, you see right up there, that post is Avery. Let's go get it. Well, I can hear that wind. Somewhere down there. Whew. I didn't film before, I always feel weird filming when someone else is around. West Peak. Get a few pictures and send it away. This is very cool. Thanks for coming along, guys. We're not done yet. We still got West Peak. So on our way. All right. We are back at the junction. <clears throat> Didn't take too long. Twenty minutes. Got down. 
And we are one Snickers down. So it was nice to hang out. One of the, I met a lady named Patches. She hiked the AT in 2013, 2014. She hiked the PCT, but she made it very clear this time she's out on vacation. <laughs> she was sitting down reading her Kindle. Met another gentleman. He's hiking the AP, AT, doing a through hike. He's going southbound. So, talked to them for a little bit. Put me a little behind schedule. It's 2.43. Uh, I've still only got three miles to go though, so. Worst case scenario, I'm there by six. More than enough time to set up camp. Starting to see some bare rock up ahead. Boy, isn't it nice <laughs> up on those exposed peaks being a uh, 70 or 80 degrees. Get that nice cool wind up here. Whew. It is nice. That's a big old step. There we were. So we were just over there about a half hour ago. But this right here, and I don't know how much will come through on video, but this really shows how steep it is. You can see right here, coming up to the coal, how steep it was getting up. Sign right up there is the peak. There's a bunch of people there, so I won't go too much. Certainly no narration, but we'll get some pictures. exactly where Horns Pond is. It's a pond in the mountains. I don't know if I gotta go over here or not. I got about three miles to go, so maybe it's just over this. I don't know. But I do know it's on this trail. It's slightly nerve-wracking up here. I'm not gonna lie to you. This cliff over here is really, really steep. Oh, man, is it pretty. I could set up camp up here. We're gonna hike down here. I'll get back with you in a minute. I just saw a snake. It's 
two peaks here, those are the horns. So we're gonna be going just to the backside of them to Horns Pond. So there's Horns Pond. Those are the Horns Pond lean-to. According to this sign, <clears throat> pond is a 0.6 miles away. Okay, move this down to the pond. Oh, how's the thermometer over here? Let's see what the temp is. Sixty. All right. All right. Oh, there's the lean too. Nice, we made it by five. All right, let's run over, fill up on water, have some snacks, but we're definitely making it out of here tonight. We're not chilling here. So, I'm running into camera time. I'm gonna have to make these quick. That's a really nice area through here. A little boggy, but it's good. So, it's 538, and we have got 4.7 miles that we have to crank out in three hours or so. So, we're gonna start moving, take a quick bathroom break before we go. But then we go fly. So if I don't film a whole lot, I apologize. I think I've shown. The best of the best on the trip so far. But uh, yeah, we're gonna go make some time. This may be better than I thought. So the junction for the fire warden's trail is 3.4. Stratton Brook Pond, which is where we came in, is 3.7. I think it's a little closer to 4, but I don't know. Anyways, we are going to boogie and make it happen. Goodbye, Appalachian Trail. All right, cowboys and cowgirls. I reckon we're at the intersection. And in half decent time, I don't know how many miles they told me this was, what? Two and a half. We left at about 5.30, so 90 minutes. Yeah, buddy. So this is where we were this morning. Just not so long ago. At 2.6, I guess. Or 2.4 from the junction, yeah. 
All right, this is 1.7 miles out. It's just before seven. I'm betting, or I'm hoping we make it there by eight. Sun sets at 8.30, so I don't have to pull out the headlamp. Oh, we're about out of time. Uh, we're back at the beginning, we made it. 7.37, great trip, bugs weren't bad. Love you guys for coming along with me. It means everything. Listen out here. I am Father Goat, and I'll see you all on the next adventure. All right, let's get back to the top, huh? Can't be too far. Just gotta watch my step on the left. Oh, yeah, it's right up here. Roll right around the corner. Just go to keep taking steps, one off to the other. That's all there is to it, really. Following the mountains, hiking up here. You've got to put your right foot in front of your left foot. Then you've got to take your left foot and put it in front of your right. This hiking instructional video is brought to you by a really bad accent.